My Joyce, yeah. pleased to meet you. Hiya. How you doing? Doing great. Uh, so tonight, DJing here at Proud Galleries. Yes. Yeah. What, what's on the playlist? Uh, records that I like. There's no, it's not punk, it's not dance, it's not rock, it's just records that I like. I was thinking about this earlier on today, really, because I'm not known as a DJ. Whoa. Oh, yeah. I should have gone like that. Ah. I'll hold it, baby. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll no, I got it. I got it. No, no, we're so, going to keep that. Oh, Let's keep it. Right, yeah. So anyway, oof, that hurt. Right, so yes, I think because obviously I'm not really known as a DJ, it's just going to be music that I like. So it is going to be some kind of old dance music, some indie music, some uh, electronic, just anything that I really fancy playing. So there isn't any kind of set, set that I have, really. Just music that I like. And what sort of eras though? I mean, you talk modern day stuff back in back in the sort of eighties, nineties. Yes, but right the way through. So I'm saying sixties up to now, right the way through, because I'm not known as a, for playing a certain type of music, so I can play what I want rather than just playing a certain step. So, so do you think it'll be quite random, or will it? All... Oh yes, random. It's that's the word. Thanks very much. I'll use that one. A random set. <laughs> And uh, happy birthday, by the way, yes. tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow, yeah. First of June, which is, funnily enough, my mum's and my brother's birthday as well. Excellent. Great. So happy birthday. Uh, cheers, for that thank one. you very much. Thank <laughs> you. Got any big plans for the big day? Uh, no, I'm not really that bothered about my birthday, to say the truth. I never have been, really. I just have a curry. A great curry in Manchester, and then that's about it. I think that's, that's all. Oh, that's all uh, going to be on the uh, on the cards. Are you uh, are you still based up there the, now? Then you're just visiting Ting London at the moment. Yeah, huh? yeah, yeah. Just come down. I mean, I want to see Kevin Cummins' pictures. I haven't seen them all. I've seen a lot of them, obviously, because I was there. Yeah. But uh, there are some of the others that I haven't seen, so I'd like to go and have a look at those. And uh, I want to see a couple of these bands that are on tonight. There's there's a lot, obviously, rumours of the Smiths reforming. We have to ask the question. Is it happening? Well, no, not at the moment. I mean, but you're asking, Would you be up for it if it was happening? I think I probably would, yeah. I think you're asking the wrong person, I think. Well, you're the drummer. Not, of course we're not asking the wrong person. It's not up to me, yeah. You're kind of, well, you know, you're asking the kind of... No. The we need a drummer. Rag, ask the mechanic. <laughs> we need a drummer, though. It's the, well, it's the heart of the band. Uh, yeah, yes, these are all... These are my quotes. <laughs> but yes, I suppose, yeah. I mean, yeah, it'd be a bit daft if they did reform without a drummer. But... You know, I forgot Aston, I'm sure. Uh, oh, I'm sure. Oh, I mean, are you looking forward to the Stone Roses reforming? Yeah, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing them at Heaton Park. Just and if, that, if that goes well, then... Well, it already has gone well. I, mean, yeah. I know it has. In terms of tickets. I, thought, I mean, I know what you mean. But, no, they've done a little show the other night, but... I'm sure it'll go well, but... Clearly, it leads the way, doesn't it? Uh, it doesn't work like that. Um, there's been lots of reformations. Yes, well, the, well, the police reformed a few years ago, and everyone, everyone thought yeah, that had never happened. And you know, Pink Floyd, they did something. People said that had never happened. So who knows, really? But you'd be up what? for it, though. I think I would. Yeah. Yeah. I think. Well, do you know why? Because the amount of happiness that it would give to that many people, it yeah. seems criminal not to. And I mean, I know there's been issues in the past that have stopped it, but. I think, I mean, I go around the world and every time I see people they say it would be lovely to see the Smiths again. I don't, I don't kind of wake up in the morning thinking, oh, if only. I don't, because I was there and, you know, every gig, so really I don't really need to kind of fulfil anything. No, no. But five years, I can't believe it. It's only five years, the Smiths. Yeah. And what a it body of work, incredible. And There's a lot what, of what do you remember of those times? I remember snapshots. I mean, there's certain times. I think when I'm prompted about certain times in certain places, I can remember stuff. And then once I get on a roll, I was speaking to someone that used to work with us. Uh, he now lives in Brussels, and he was telling me about when we were in Spain. Um, we, we arrived at the, the venue, and uh, there was the wrong uh, drum kit. And uh, Morrissey went to the microphone and got an electric shock. And we said, "Look, we're not even going to play this gig." <laughs> so then we went back to the hotel, and then the police came and our passports were taken off us and they said you know we couldn't go home until we played the concert no. and all the press were outside and we were having to hide in rooms and it all started to come flooding back so once there's a little kind of a, a spark of Trigger, remembrance yeah. that it all just starts to come back but I mean there's, there's bits that I forget completely and bits that I remember like it was yesterday. But how saw, much I, saw you, I saw you twice and I, I just I just remember it being so absolutely unbelievable I mean do you have any understanding how much the Smiths mean to a lot of people. Not yeah. just obviously yeah. to me, top five bands of all time without any shadow of a doubt, but to, to millions, billions maybe of people outside. Yeah, of course I do, because it meant that much to me and to Johnny and Andy and Morrissey. So it's so exactly the same thing, but kind of 
passing it on really and that, that was always a great thing between the fans and ourselves is that there was an amazing kind of uh, communication between between us and them and we kind of felt as excited as they did there was no kind of we were up here and you were down there we were all in no, it together absolutely not and, and sorry talking about if you had to capture like the smiths in three best songs for yourself what would you say hand and glove i suppose because it was our first record that we'd ever made because when we were rehearsing that it sounded great and all the rehearsals sounded great but we'd never actually heard it on record so to actually get something on record and hear what we sounded like because of course we could overdub guitars and things like that and Johnny put a harmonica on it and things like that that we couldn't obviously we couldn't do both at the same time so it sounded incredible so hand in glove I suppose um, how soon is now just because it's so uh, it's iconic outrageous oh. really <laughs> I mean it's an outrageous record because I'd never heard anything like it before and, I, and, and I've only half since uh, and thirdly, uh, I suppose something, uh, last night I dreamt of the last album because we were really kind of working well together on the last album. A lot of people seem to think that the last album we were falling apart and things, you know, cracks were bringing, beginning to show. No, it wasn't at all. Not when we were recording, when we were actually in the, the zone or out behind our instruments and actually playing. That was my favourite album because we had nothing to prove then. Everything that we'd done prior to that had been quite well, very successful. So we didn't really need to uh, prove anything to anybody. So we just indulged ourselves a little bit. Uh, well, I felt like I was doing that anyway. Obviously, I can speak from my point of view. But it was uh, it was a lovely album to make that. And I suppose like, last night I dreamt. Yeah. Anyway, it's Fantastic. been an absolute pleasure All right, nice to speak to you. Lovely. And uh, anything to say to music news watchers? Uh, no. <laughs> 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 just uh, well, I said no. Keep playing the Smiths. Yeah, oh, are you going to play any Smiths? Keep playing the Smiths. Yeah. Stop downloading for free. <laughs> are you going to play any Smiths tracks tonight? I think I will. Yeah. yeah. Hanging the DJ, obviously. I think so. No. Well, uh, <laughs> are we going to be hanging the DJ yeah, by I the end of the? Maybe. I wasn't going to play that, but I might do actually. I don't know. We'll see. There might be panic on the streets of London. You never know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Quite. Yeah. There's a good, two good enough yeah. reasons to play it. So uh, I won't. Thank you. Thank you ever so much for your time. Much appreciated.